Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be talking about the Air Jordan 3s that we'll be releasing in August. This is a early look thanks to Feel Kicks for sending these my way so I can review them. These are known as the Palominos in the light or wood brown colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Today we'll be taking a very early look at the Air Jordan 3s, which are set to release on Saturday, August 19th. Thanks again to Feel Kicks for sending these my way. These are so early that I actually do not have a box with them, uh, but we're gonna go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cool neutral colorway, and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market and what price point these are expected to be retailed at. All right, let's jump right into it. Honestly, I was in love when I got these in hand just because I think that the neutrality of the tones they decided to go with on this are something that seasonally works all year round. As far as this nice kind of nubuck textured suede on the front, it is quite rough to the touch. And when it does hit the light, it has a subtle metallic-y kind of sheen to it, but it is in this light creamish beige tone. And then we've got this really just cool chocolatey tone in a dark and light brown for the front of the toe box region for the elephant print. As we work our way up, this is where we get more of a tan tone and then a pop of this metallic gold hits the Jumpman logo. We also have a light cream tone for the laces. And then as far as the eyelets here, we also have subtle gold hues as well, which again, I think brings those gold accents all together. All right, let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. Wrapping around to the side paneling again, we've got this kind of rough textured nubuck suede, and it does again have a subtle sheen to it when it hits the light. We've got eyelets in this nice chocolatey brown tone. And again, that elephant print is covered in a dark and light brown hue. Wrapping around to the back, we're getting hits of that gold that you saw on the front of the sneaker for the Jumpman and Air logo on the back of the heel. Then we've got this nice light beige creamy tone for the pull tab. The interior is in this lighter shade of brown. And then we've got some white and gold for the insole. As we wrap around to the lateral side of the sneaker, it is the same exact color combination as the medial. We're here way down to the midsole. We've got chocolatey brown on the back of the heel here, and then an off-white sail tone for the midsole, and the outsole is in this nice, just neutral gray, brown, and cream tone. All right, let's take a look at all of those details.
far as size and fit goes, for the Air Jordan 3 silhouette, I typically stick to the size. I do have high arch narrow feet, so do take that into consideration when deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, so now let's jump into how I style this really just cool, simple, neutral tone. For the first look, I wanted to match kind of the beige hues with a button down beige top, and then I wore some nice just charcoal gray pants to kind of match the bottom of that midsole. And then for the second look, I decided to bring some color into the mix with a green satin dress, and I layered that with a trench denim coat. When I told the truth through and through, never name drop. You guilty if you assume it's you from laying under covers to staying under your skin. I know exactly what it was, fuck what it is. Stay thinking out loud and think about how the vibe changed quicker than a million miles an hour. I felt bad for whatever I said, but whatever's dead, I hope I see you never again. Then for the last and final look, I decided to wear a white button down with a pair of khaki shorts. So as far as retail goes, these are going to be around a $200 price point. Right now, there are none of these actually up on the resale market currently. Uh, so no bids and no asks. So as far as uh, the release date, again, these are set to release on August 19th. We'll see if that stays true as we get closer to the date, uh, but definitely a beautiful all around sneaker as far as colorway and material is used. I think that they did an impeccable job with the color combination on this one. I just think it's a very wearable uh, tone. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Again, shout out to Fuel Kicks. Be sure to follow him uh, for early picks of sneakers. Um, but that is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll catch you all next episode. Lose it,